Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can animate text background color in VSDC Video Editor Pro version. Now, it's actually super easy to animate text background color in VSDC Pro. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, first I would like to write some text on top of my screen. So to do that, go to Add Object, go to Text, click on text and now click on OK. Next create your text box on top of the screen like this and then click on this option which says set the same size as the parent has. Next let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write let's say text and let me change the font of my text from Arial to Montserrat Black. Let me also increase the text size to somewhere around 500 pixels and let me also center align my text by going to paragraph and selecting center and once again going to paragraph and then selecting center align. Now if you want to animate the background color of this particular text you need to first click on your text object. Next look inside the text object settings which is present inside the properties window and right here you're going to find this brush option where currently transparent is selected. So you need to change this from transparent to solid. Next look inside the color option which is present right below the brush option. And right here you need to click on the three dots which is present on the extreme right of the color option. Now the moment you click on these three dots you will see this graph opening up right here. Now what we are going to do is we will be adding four keyframes in this particular graph at different points in time and it is at those particular points the background color of our text is going to change. So what I mean by that is the duration of my text in the timeline is 10 seconds. So I will be adding four keyframes at two seconds, four seconds, six seconds and eight seconds and it is at these particular points the background color of my text is going to change. So let's just start. Um, first, let's place the cursor at two seconds. All right. So as you can see in the position, my cursor is now placed at two seconds. Now to add a keyframe at two seconds at this particular point, you need to click on this particular icon which says add or remove a keyframe to the parameter. So this icon is present inside the color option. So click on this icon and the moment you click on this icon, a keyframe will be added at two seconds. Similarly, place the cursor now at four seconds and once again, click on this icon to add a keyframe at four seconds. Now place the cursor at six seconds and once again, click on this icon to add a keyframe at six seconds and finally, place the cursor at 8 seconds and click on this icon to add a keyframe at 8 seconds. Perfect. So we have successfully added 4 keyframes at 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6 seconds and 8 seconds. And so now what we will do next is we will change the background color at these particular points. So let's just go to the first keyframe which is present at 2 seconds. So to go to this keyframe you need to click on this particular arrow which says go to the previous keyframe. So perfect. So I am now at the first keyframe which is present at 2 seconds. And to change the background color at this particular position you need to click on this color box which is present right here. And the moment you click on this color box, you will see this colors dialog open up right here. Let me just select custom and let me select a custom color. So let's say let me just select this particular color right here and now click on OK. Now let's move on to the second keyframe, which is present at four seconds. So to move to the second keyframe, click on this particular arrow, which says go to the next keyframe. And now click on this color box. Let's go to custom and let me just select, let's say this particular color right here. 
and now click on OK. Perfect. Let's now move to the third keyframe which is present at 6 seconds. So click on this particular arrow and now click on the color box which is present right here. Let's go to custom and let me just select let's say let's say this particular color right here and now click on OK. And finally let's move to the fourth and final keyframe which is present at 8 seconds. So click on this particular arrow and now click on this color box. Let's go to custom and let me just select a different color this time. So let's say I want this particular color right here and now click on OK. Alright, so I have successfully added different colors at 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6 seconds and 8 seconds. And so now if I just play this entire thing for you from the start. So initially the background color of my text is black and when the video ends it will once again become black only but it is at 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6 seconds and 8 seconds that the background color of my text is going to change. So let me just play the video for you and show you. So as you can see the background color of my text is changing at 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6 seconds and 8 seconds and finally it becomes black once again. So this is how you can actually animate text background color in VSDC Video Editor Pro version. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.